Uh, what's up, YouTube? We got Vinny Big Dick Silverman over here <laughs> playing. Um, what? <laughs> Why? All right, let's go. Team Yugi Bros here with Big Dick Silverman <laughs> and his uh, top four deck profile from the Diggs Vorzak tournament. Yes, at Gamers Prize card, prize card tournament here at Gamers Gambit. Uh, let's get into the deck profile, for Okay, so I played Battery Man OTK. Okay. Um, First of all, <laughs> why? <laughs> I got bored. Why not Shadows or why not uh, Satella Knights or. Uh, uh, you're poor? Oh, you're poor. <laughs> you're poor. Two player gray. Cube. We have extra cubes. <laughs> we, we gotta pull out. I only pull out the spell guard for when we cube the. Um, so, yeah, it's, I, I felt like everyone would be playing Shadows and this deck just kind of beats Shadows instantly. So, and I ended up working. I beat two Shadow players. Including the one recording the video. Including the one. My only loss in Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I played three of this guy. What does that guy do? Um, he's normal. Oh, that's just like what we played. Um, <laughs> what is normal summon uh, or special summon? You add a battery man from your deck to your hand, and then its attack and defense become doubled. How convenient. The the turn. What a drawback for a searcher. <laughs> and it dies at the end of the turn. But like, if, you, if you're playing a grind matchup, you can just summon this and search another one, and it's a 2,000 beater, so like it swings over armor, and um, otherwise you just search for combo pieces and you like call this back during uh, their end phase. And then to summon it, there's the three... That card's unfair. Three micro cell. What? Um, so what this does is when it's flipped, you special summon this guy from your deck. Um, so then you get its effect and you get the surge again. And when it's destroyed by battle after it's been flipped, you draw a card. So like you just set this, then they swing into it. You flip it, get nine volt, search for something, and then this will die, and you draw another card. So then you'll have if you search. The next monster, which is Charger, then um, you set up to put a lot of damage on the field. Charger is level 5, and it has 1800 attack, but it gains 300 more for each Thunder type monster you control. And when it's normal summon, you special summon a battery man from your deck except itself. So you can go flip Microcell, summon 9 volt, use 9 volt to add Charger, and uh, Tribute the microcell for charger, summon another 9 volt, and then you can make a 4, or you can go for other monsters and go for more damage. You can also charger, uh, if you go like summon 9 volt, turn 1, get charger, this dies, and then you call it back, get something else, and then you can tribute this for charger. Summon another 9 volt and then get a third search. So, a lot of the deck is just searching for lots of battery men. Um, there's, and then, uh, 3 fuel cell. Uh, fuel cell has 2100 attack and it's level 6. If you control 3, uh, if you control 2 battery men, you can special summon this from your hand. So it's like Voltrol. Right, it's like Voltrol. And then, once per turn, you can tribute a battery man, except itself, to bounce a card your opponent controls. Um, so this is where all the searching lets you just kill them, um, because you just search for multiple copies of this and summon them, and then you hit them for the 21 over and over again. And also its effect to bounce stuff um, is really good, because when you have 9 volt on your side of the field, it'll kill itself during your end phase anyway, so you can just use it to um, set your opponent back turns by bouncing monsters, or it, against like shadows you can bounce their fusions and then just cut them off with the fusion spell. Also, this is the main way you exceed, is because you make sixes and you make like M7 and add this back. And then the last battery man is uh, one industrial strength. Um, it's 2600 attack and you summon it by banishing two battery men from your graveyard. And once per turn you can banish a thunder from your graveyard to pop monster in a back row anywhere on the field so against decks that require like a lot of field presence it it's a searchable basically dark arm that just clears their field um after you have your graveyard set up by removing the ones that you don't need like chargers and micro cells um so yeah all the other battery men are either they don't really um get you any 
other battery men, they don't uh, OTK the, your opponent, and um, or they're just bad in general. That, I wouldn't play more industrial strength because um, it's searchable by 9 volt, but everything else you play three of just because you want to draw them. Um, and then uh, for the last monsters, I played uh, three moral tech because I'm playing the artifact engine for uh, defense, and um, also it's a level five to make exceeds with a Ironman charger. And I play three maxi because I figured a lot of people would be playing like Cellar Knights and Infernities, which there were, and this card just gives you more card advantage to OTK them against those decks. Um, so that's it for monsters. For uh, spells, three of the best spell card in the deck um, Monarch Stormforth. So, what this does is. Once during this turn, you can tribute one of your opponent's monsters in place of one of your own for a tribute summon. So if you have this and um, Charger, you, you're basically tributing their monster to get Charger, and then Charger gets 9 Volt, which is another free card, and 9 Volt gets Fuel Cell, which is another free card. So you're basically putting um, like 24, 2000, and 21 damage on board for one card because unlike Soul Exchange, um, this card lets you attack the same turn, you just can't summon from the extra deck. So it allows you to put a lot of damage on the board really fast and it allows you to clear things like, um, cleared a lot of arcs, cleared a lot of you know, Shadow Fusion monsters. Like mid rashes. Yeah, that just won't otherwise die. Or window, what the fuck it's called. Yeah, whatever it's called now. Um, and then three upstar goblin and three duality because um, you lose when you can't, when you don't see either a microcell or a nine volt or um, a charger and a way to summon it, like a stormforth. So these cards just ensure that you get to those cards, and the extra thousand for. Upstart doesn't really matter because when you OTK with your battery men, they're either dead anyway because you put like 9,000, 10,000 damage on the board, uh, depending on your hand, or they're just in such a bad position where the, they won't be able to come back anyway. And then, um, just because the deck will, obviously since it's an OTK, OTK you lose to back row. So three MSPs and two places for protection. I also chose to name the three MSTs because it's really good against Infernity. You know where their barrier is, you just barrier it. Uh, you just MST it and then you... The video's on. There's children around. Um, yeah, you MST the barrier and then they're in a very bad position. Uh, for the traps, um, there's three Sanctum. The Sanctums and the Moral Techs are... Just for uh, defense against like combo decks. So How much have you dead draw the sanctums or the moral techs? Um, well, the moral techs aren't dead that often because you can stormforth tribute your opponent's monster for the moral techs, and then you just have a twenty-one beater on the field, and they've lost their monster, so it's still pretty good. Um, but it's it's worth playing. Um, also, the MSTs, you can just MST your own Moral Tech if you have to. So the Moral Techs aren't really dead, and it's worth it because you get to play like the best trap card ever. And then um, three calls because it brings back 9 Volt, and 9 Volt lets you search a lot, and also brings back Moral Tech, which um, disrupts even more plays. And then uh, one Compulse just because um, it's. <coughs> I didn't want to play anything like Bottomless and Tarantula just because um, they don't really do much to the Shadow Fusions or to Delta Rose or stuff like that. So I wanted to. Um, I wanted to be able to uh, have more. Deep There's some broken stuff going on over there. The this man just added Rescue Cat back for slashing batteries. Um, What's your life now? <laughs> Alright, so that's the main deck. Um, the extra deck is, the only thing that matters in the extra deck really is M7, because you, uh, when you're going to OTK them, you can overlay two fuel cells for an M7, and then M7 back one of the fuel cells and summon it again, which is 600 extra damage, which is helpful. Um, for the side deck, um, I sided uh, two Firehand, two Ice Hand. Um, this was a last minute addition because I figured 
um, so game one, one people would see Microcell and just assume that every monster I set would be Microcell, and then they play stupid into the hands, which happened. I, yeah, I can only get one. I can get any banner. Um, so I cited those in against um, just general more controlling decks. Um, Dark Hole was for like Infernities and Gear Gears just because they can blow them out if you cut them off of all their monsters. Um, I cited two Majesty Fiends, one of them's in the cube, but um, this card has a lot of synergy because uh, any time that you would be able to summon a uh, Charger, you can summon a Majesty, Majesty Fiend instead. Yeah, and, like, I heard that card's like, pretty good. Yeah, it, 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 it's very good against uh, Shadow players who don't transfer tribute. Yeah. It's a good boy right here. Yeah, that um, So you can use it with like Stormforth and uh, after you've Sanctum and it, sometimes it'll just win the game. You can't use your So that's for the two magic you see. And then the rest of the side deck is Floodgates because this deck is shut down by only like Light Mirror and Skill Drain. As far as Floodgates, so you just side the rest. Um, <laughs> Defissure and Soul Drain um, for obvious things like water and shadow and stuff like that. Um, shadow Mirror for like extra side deck hate for uh, shadows and extra oomph. infernities. Get the extra get the extra oomph for those uh, dark decks. And then the best card in the side deck is. Uh, band and the band played on. Um, so Would you prefer that to uh, yeah. Flying Sea? Absolutely. Why so? Um, because with this card, they can't. With Flying Sea, they just can't exceed. But with this card, they can't summon monsters with uh, different levels than um, with the same level as ones they control. Oh. So. <laughs> so. Okay. Like, um, Whenever they against like Gyrgya, they can they can't put more level fours on the field. They can just they just have to. They're like it's like they're under Kaiser and you're not. Um, and also, yeah, uh, we just thought about it at the same time. Um, so if they have a face up armor. You flip this and then they can't do anything. Exactly. Except set the armor. This is much better than Flying Sea. Yeah, because ah. with Flying Sea, they can just switch it to attack position and crash it into one of your monsters. And also, you have to kill them eventually, so you have to attack over the Flying Sea. Um, and also, it's just uh, answered by like Book of Moon, Phoenix Chain, anything like that. Um, but this card has m much fewer answers. And um, also, nothing in your deck is really the same level. Nine volts on four, charges of five. Fuel cells a six, micro cells a one, industrial strength a seven. So, for the most part, you're not going to be hurt by it. You just OTK them, and uh, that's that's it. Uh, tell us your matchup for the day. Um, round one, I played against Reversal Quiz, which was an absolute nightmare because I've never played against that deck before. Game one, I decided that um, I wouldn't actually try to win. I would just try to learn how to play against Reversal Quiz by learning like what the deck actually does. And then games two and three, I just OTK'd him um, by just waiting. And then um, round two, I played against uh, Shadows, and um, I had... Game one, I um, storm. He had a slow hand where he needed to set, um, like he needed to resolve Hedgehog, and I had two Stormforths, so that didn't happen. Well, I saw this card, I and then I game the two, I had had like, so Soul Drain up. That means I'm playing two so he can like play. Some and some and um, <laughs> round three, I played against uh, Stellar Knights, which is Bruno over that. here, and um, I. Uh, I OTK'd him game That's one. That's my dad. And That's my dad. <laughs> in game two, I uh, had two and played on, which was pretty solid. Uh, round three, round four, I played against uh, Yours main truly. Man, Jared Boyd, um, who got. Uh, Absolutely packed up. Yeah. You got a shit packed in more than you be in prison. Um. <laughs> um. I forget what happened game one. Do you remember? Game one, like I was, I I saw you doing battery man, so I was like, you know what? Let's just go to game two. <laughs> game two, I think uh, you bricked or whatever. Yeah, I bricked game two, which and the then, deck can do. And then game three, I, I didn't trenchle um, the Majesty's fiend. Yeah, he and just let me. <laughs> He just let me put the Majesty Seed on the table and then it attacked for game like yeah. four times. Me um, Round five, I played against Gear Gears. 
Um, and uh, game one, he opened no monsters, and I opened up nine volts, and I just cycled nine volts and attacked. And uh, game two, he opened up all monsters, and uh, he went. He set pass turn one, and I went space your back row, storm forth, um, moral tech, attack, set sanctum call, and band plate on. And then he goes summon accelerator, and I flip band plate on. He just goes because he couldn't play anymore. Um, so that was the first five rounds, and then in top eight, I got to play against. Someone who opened basically five infernity cards and then one tin plate and then two trap stuns. So I played against Tyler and, Tyler and he bricked twice apparently, or so he says. And I don't know about that. See me a cube. And um, so yeah, that didn't go too well for him. That's giving me a dick right now. Game and then round uh, in top four played against the same Gearia player and um, I drew like Battery Man monsters game one and then game two I drew too many Battery Man monsters and I couldn't play and then game three he ripped a gear and a soul charge when he needed to rip a gear and a soul charge so that that's fine. Um, I went overall <laughs> the games that I dropped where I, I lost um, two games to the, the gear player in top four, and then I lost a game to Jared. Whoa! One game, the, the one game to reversal quiz. So overall, I went um, thirteen and four in games. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. You want me to show you the, the like the main OTK? That you uh, do? Yeah, sure. Basically, what you do. I teach people how to play that dog. <laughs> I'm enabling them. Um, you go like. Pretty sure it is. <laughs> enabling. Show me that shit. You have a weak vocabulary, Tyler. You, don't you just meet him? <laughs> so you go like summon nine volts. He says three syllables and thinks it's cool. I get to tell a lot of shit. <laughs> so if you have nine volt call, uh, you set call and you summon nine volt. And Q. <laughs> you add um, charger, yep. and then when it it'll die at your end phase, and then during their turn, you call it back and search for a fuel cell. And then you win. And then on your turn, don't you on the rest? You you tribute nine volt for charger. Get another nine volt. Get another fuel cell. Drop these two, and then this is ninety two. Jesus. And um, so you need this power cell and uh, not power cell. What is this thing called? And um, call. Why is this a common? Both of them are commons. You can build this deck probably for around. You don't need the maxis, and you don't really need the artifact cards. You can basically the artifact cards are cheap now too. Like they're not expensive. You can build it for however much money it would cost to build an artifact deck. All right, man. Thanks for the video. All right. Do you own anything besides Pokemon shirts? No.